Today, we're talking about the Honor Study Abroad program to South Africa, which invites students to examine the rich cultural history and vibrant urban cities such as Pretoria and Cape Town. Stay tuned to learn all about this new study abroad program on the special edition of the Honor Roll podcast. Coming up next. Hey, Honors Bulls, we are back with another bonus episode of the Honor Roll podcast. I'm your host, Riva Gandhi, and I'm a third year biomedical sciences and public health student at USF and a member of the Judy Gensheft Honors College. Today, we are talking with USF faculty member, Dr. Matthew Malarkey. Welcome to the show. Would you like to introduce yourself? Absolutely, Riva, and good morning. And um, I'm very grateful for this opportunity to address our Honors College students and particularly those that will be most interested in traveling with us this coming summer uh, to visit and enjoy the cultural experience of South Africa. My name is Dr. Matthew Malarkey. I am the director of the Doctor of Business Administration degree program. I teach undergrad capstone courses and graduate courses in our executive MBA, MBA, and Doctor of Business Administration degree program here at USF. And so I'm literally right across the walkways from the Honors College over at the Muma College of Business. Wow, you're really busy on campus. What kind of drew you to the Honors College and the South Africa program? Honestly, it was almost an accidental conversation that we had together with your dean and and myself as we were exchanging uh, pleasantries over um, a an event dinner. And one of the things that your dean and I were talking about is the opportunity that South Africa presents because it is such a a pivotal country and a pivotal continent. And it really provides opportunity for learning for all of us, frankly, in many, many disciplines. It has a political science component, a cultural component. It has a generational component. It has diversity components. It has social justice components, but it also has energy and technology um, and the overwhelming need to satisfy the needs of 60 million people in a very modern area, as well as being the cradle of humanity going back tens, if not hundreds of thousands of years to the very start of mankind. And so all of that provided a really rich tapestry for an Honors College visit. And when um, your dean and I were talking about it, we thought we both have different experiences in South Africa, different backgrounds, and we'd love to bring those to our students. Wow, that sounds so inspiring and just exciting to travel there. Just hearing about it, it makes me want to go. Um, Can you give me a quick outline of the Honors South Africa program, what it entails? Yes, we envision a program that's very short, sweet, condensed, and packed with um, energy. So we intend to compress into three weeks your typical summer A six-week program. What we anticipate doing is spending the four days prior to our travel to South Africa with morning and afternoon sessions expanding upon and providing readings for and discussions around the at least eight pivotal activities that we want to do when we're on the ground in South Africa. Then we'll take a Friday break so that everybody can pack their bags and Saturday we get on a flight. It's one of the two longest flights in the world. We are anticipating flying from Tampa to Atlanta, probably with Delta. And then the Delta flight direct to Johannesburg is 16 hours. So we will arrive a day later, a full day later after having traveled for almost 24 hours. Um, But that just begins the experience. Then we anticipate two weeks in country. The first week will be based out of Pretoria and the second week will be based out of the city of Cape Town. Um, They're in two different provinces within South Africa, two of the most populous areas. Pretoria is one of the state capitals. It's the administrative state capital, has rich history itself. And Cape Town 
is also uh, the capital and most populous city for its district on the um, Atlantic coast of South Africa. It actually is the, the jumping off point to visiting the southernmost point in, in the continent of Africa, um, south of Cape Town. So that's my goal. I would love you all to um, get as excited as I am about being in South Africa. So South Africa, it seems packed with adventure, and it seems like you might have some personal connections or experiences with it. Can you tell us what your relationship to South Africa kind of holds? I have a um, an appointment as an extraordinary research scientist with the Northwest University, and that was founded on the basis of a number of visits to South Africa to coordinate with my colleagues and share um, educational experiences and research experiences about the areas that I research, particularly in case research methods and in design science research. And so I'm very excited to um, introduce our students to many members of our many colleagues of mine, as well as their students and potentially um, others in the non-academic and involved areas of things like energy, politics, uh, science, technology, et cetera. That's really cool. So looking at it from an interdisciplinary sphere, these honor students on this program are really going to get a little bit of every aspect of South Africa during the three weeks. Um, what sort of activities are going to be included in the program? So although Pretoria is our base, we won't be in Pretoria every single day. We will kick off um, with one of my favorite visits, uh, we'll go to Palanisburg. Many people have heard of Kruger National Park. These are national parks that are, in fact, wildlife habitats for all of the game of Africa. And so our students will spend a day and we'll be in trucks, vehicles, where um, the animals, we're in the animals' habitat. And we'll see lions and zebras and giraffes and elephants in their natural habitat, uh, doing what they do on a regular basis. If we're lucky, we'll see leopards um, and we might see hippos as well. Again, that's a wonderful example of a great day. A second day, we will go to Soweto. Soweto is really the home of the social justice movement led by the ANC and other world leaders like Desmond Tutu. And um, uh, it's one of the few areas in the world where there are two Nobel laureates. Um, and it is also a township. And it's a township that is a major city um, that was in the apartheid area, a way to sec section off and sanction off particular parts of the population. It's an incredible experience to see, and we'll have a wonderful cultural experience as we travel uh, through Soweto with a guided tour, of course, and we end up at the museum that um, is designed to discuss the real activities that occurred under apartheid. A third day, we will visit the murals, the painted murals of the city of Pretoria and have an art experience going to a local museum. Um, we will also use our time in Pretoria for the fourth major activity, which is to go to the dawn of civilization or the cradle of civilization. It is active archaeological digs going on today where they continue to discover the ancestors of Homo sapien. Um, and so it is one of the richest archaeological sites in the world. And we'll have a tour that not only sees archaeology at work, but also discusses the evolution of humanity. And that's just week one. Well, in that case, I can't wait to see what week two holds. And I'm sure it's just as or even cooler than that. Um, from animals to art to science, it's incredible. It, you hold almost everything in a quick 21 day trip, which is really cool. What should honor students expect while they're preparing for this trip and while studying abroad? What we envision is giving the students an opportunity to kind of have a broad survey of subjects. And so our goal is to give the students the broadest survey possible of this one really fascinating microcosm of 
the global challenges we all we all know we face. That's really incredible. And I feel like a lot of opportunities and experiences that we have don't include all of that multifacetedness that's happening, which is interesting and also very amazing that the Honors College is able to provide something like that. Now, specifically looking at our honors students, going beyond majors, what type of students are encouraged to apply to this program? Number one, curious. You know, are you open and willing to learn about an entirely different culture, people, geography, um, in some cases, some components of language, although it is an English speaking country and everything we do there will be in English. The second is a desire to learn. The third is a desire to contribute because we want people with voices. So we want to hear your thoughts on the things you see and experience and how they're affecting, you know, your worldview. You know, students who want to apply what they learn there to the rest of their studies here at USF. So if you have those four or five qualities and think that the trip to South Africa would be rewarding and enriching in that context, we'd love for you to sign up and and come join us. What advice would you have to any student who might possess those qualities or maybe wouldn't, but are on the fence about applying to study abroad? Well, first of all, they can call or email me and ask me directly or our Um, You know, we would be we would love to have them um, also talk to the staff that's associated with our study abroad programs. Um, The other thing I would say in preparation is, um, hey, Google it. Just Google it. Go look at Google and the images of the country. You will be amazed at how diverse the terrain is. Everything from jungles and safari to urban centers and cities to some of the most beautiful scenery in the world is all bundled up in South Africa. That sounds gorgeous. I'm a little bit jealous that I'm not able to go this year. So I highly recommend anybody who's looking to apply. What do you hope that students will gain from this experience as a whole? You touched on it a little bit, but what do you really want them to bring back? In my own experience in my own life and in the educational experience for our students, I think there is somehow nothing more valuable than visiting a totally different country and culture and having your eyes opened to the way the rest of the world lives. So my number one goal takeaway for the students would be take this trip and come away with a totally different more informed worldview. I'll, the second thing is, I'll be shocked if students don't come back and immediately find links between the things they learned on this trip and the studies that they're pursuing. South Africa is one of our BRIC countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. They're calling it BRICS. Um, and these nations are rising in eminence and in you know, affecting the globe in ways um, that are generational. And so it's another way to get really interesting exposure to a the next wave of, if you will, geopolitical influence and in some cases leadership. Wow. I mean, you summed it up perfectly. And there you have it. Learn more about South Africa's rich cultural history, urban lifestyle, and incredible interdisciplinary conversations with Professor Malarkey and your honors peers on the Honors Study Abroad in South Africa. If you are interested in trips like this one, check out the Honors website for more information on how you can apply. That will do it for this week's episode. The Honor Roll podcast is recorded in the Judy Genshaft Honors College at the University of South Florida Tampa campus. Production assistance is provided by honor student Sandra Napolitano. Thank you all so much for listening. Please do not forget to rate and review our podcast. We appreciate your feedback. We'll be back next week with more honor stories. Stay tuned for more episodes where we talk about honor study abroad. Until next time, go Bulls!